Okay, so lifting Daniel. Daniel is 20 years old. About five foot three, 101, 102 pounds, although it feels lately like he's gained a little bit more weight. So, you know, you come to a certain point where you have to put uh, an engineer in lifting in the home because the individual you're caring for can become too heavy for your body to physically lift safely. And I actually have a little bit of a back injury from a fall this past winter. Uh, I've got a bulging disc in my back, so I need to be really careful because I don't want to have surgery. So anyway, when Daniel was little, we had him upstairs and that worked when he was 25, 30 pounds, right? And then he got bigger, heavier, and started to put on more weight. And even at 40 pounds, there was a lot lifting him up and down the stairs. So we redid the downstairs here and put in lifts. I'm gonna come back to this because he's fussy. I don't wanna put him on there if he's not happy. So I'll be back. Hi. Hi, now you're smiling. Hey, so anyways, we were talking about lifting Daniel. Um, Daniel is currently up in his chair, as you can see. I have the sling behind him. He's getting sleepy, so I'm gonna get him into his bed. See the sling? And it's down by his legs. One. One's gonna go this way, one's gonna go that way. The motor will lift it up. And this is a prism medical motor. This is the control. Now this thing is, <laughs> it's very, very heavy. Okay, so I mean, it's could probably put a nice big hole in my sheetrock if I so like slammed into the wall. It's got a nice spread width with arms and shoulders for lifting, which works really well for Daniel. So I'm gonna get him up into the lift and get him back into the bed. So this house, we put in track to go into the bathroom. See, that goes all the way in and can potentially take him into a shower. It is not working out the way that we had envisioned 10 years ago because the bathroom is very narrow and small and Daniel has gotten pretty tall. This thing is so wide that it's bumping into the walls. So we've engineered a different uh, concept so to speak, for bathing. We've got a bath chair being ordered and it's um, it has like a, a bridge. So the chair has wheels and then the chair will snap off and slide into the bridge. So it can go right into the shower. We don't have a roll-in shower because there's about a three or four inch lip there. So this chair will, uh, will work in the sense that we'll bring the bath chair here, use the lift, lower them in take him into the shower it snaps in slides into the bridge in the shower slides back out comes back in lifts back into the bed that just seemed to make more sense than destroying the small bathroom walls <laughs> because no matter what we did it was really hard to get that lift and the other lift and unfortunately we've made a lot of you know construction to the ceiling with the lifts and what are you gonna do and into the bathroom so the guys are gonna come back actually and take some of this lift track and make a better accessibility for the lift in the room so he's gonna be able to have the bed in any place in the room and still be able to get into his chair safely with the lift or into the stander or into the recliner which he likes to sit in often I just wanted to just let you guys know I mean lifting Daniel is tricky I mean I can still lift him myself but it's dangerous for my back so we have to be careful it's for his safety and mine too yeah we have to have lifts in place because nursing care needs them anyway they have rules they can't lift technically over 50 pounds I believe is the rule so you, you need to make sure everybody can have the optimum safety and then be able to care for him appropriately He's looking like he wants to take a nap. I'm going to get this going, so hang on.
Let's get you back into bed. All right, Daniel, ready to show them how you go up? Ready to show your friends? And then you'll have your nap, okay? Here's your control. We're just going to show you how. We're all set up. Just relax. We're going to go up and then down. See? It lifts the person up. Cradling him nicely. Sometimes he likes to just relax here. It's like a swing. You going to take a nap like that? Hi. <laughs> See? he's He looks good. And then I'd bring him up. Slide him along the lift. Lower into the chair. And bring back up again. You're sliding all over. All right. Now he's going to go down. He says, I'm ready. I'm done, done floating around. Thanks for the lift, Mom. And then we take this off. We take this off. He likes to touch it. Yeah, then we bring it back up. Goodbye, Lift. See you next time, Lift. Going back up into the cradle where it will charge. And it stays there. Whoops, I'll fix that. Yeah, so <laughs> that was a rudimentary lesson in Daniel's lift. Basically, it's a sling and a lift that transfers him safely to the chair and back to the bed or to the bath chair, back to bed. Um, you can even use it to position him in the bed if you know you want to move him way up or move him way down. Um, so if you have any questions about lifting, positioning, anything like that, just let me know. Now that he's in there, I'll take the sling out from behind him. I need to change his diaper, get him positioned right. Hi. Get his feed back on and let him relax here for a few minutes. Because we've been outside and then we were doing breathing treatments. And now we're going to rest. So, that's it. That's Daniel's lift in his room. If you want to see anything else or you have any... I don't know, video suggestions, let me know. And I'd be happy to put them on the list and try to get them done. Anything you want to know about this sweet guy, let me know. He's like, uh, Mom, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mom? Well, I don't have a nurse today, so it's easy for me to, to show and tell, huh? I love you. You ready for sleepies? Want to watch TV? What do you want to do? See how you feel a little bit different from the rest of the world.